Hi, I'm Val, and I am going to teach you today how to properly ink a block. This is our block. Here we have our plexiglass. We have our ink already uh, mixed. We have this lovely gold we're printing on black. And this is what we call the trough. We have our roller, and we are going to make a well of ink. It's kind of like a stamp pad. Like if you were gonna take a, a rubber stamp and put it in a stamp pad, you have this nice even layer of ink. And if you notice, I just do a little bit at a time. The other thing I'm doing is I'm spinning my roller so that the roller gets a lovely even layer of ink. Now, one of the most important things to me in a good well is the sound of the ink. So there's a very specific sound, so I want you to listen. It's not wet and it's not super tacky, right? It has this lovely sound. Okay, now we're gonna roll onto our block. Now, when you roll your block, you're gonna wanna roll it in all sorts of directions also, so you get a nice, even coating of ink. The other thing that's really important is that you notice my, my roller and the handle runs parallel to the block. Okay, I'm gonna come back over here fill up my roller just a little bit more. Now, the first time you ink a block, you want to do a nice little coating and then you have to test it. And the reason we're doing this is that it primes the block. It puts this lovely little coating of ink that then as you layer thin bits of ink over the top of this, it'll print better on your fabric. So back over here to our well, it's getting a little dry. So one of the things that you do when your well is dry is you're gonna come up to your trough and you're gonna tap it just on the edge. So you see how much ink is on there? There's not a lot. But now I have to even it out across the whole thing. So again, spinning my roller, going in all the directions so that again, I have this beautiful sounding well. And I'm gonna come over to my block. And as I said, and I will say it over and over again, thin layers of ink, thin layers of ink. And you can hear that the block sounds like my well. So if you look at it, you have this slight little shimmer to it. That's how much ink you want on there. You don't want it gooping off the sides or into your designs. Now we're gonna come over here. This is a messenger bag that we already have made up. And so I put a piece of plexiglass inside the pocket so that none of the seams underneath here are gonna disrupt my printing process. So we're gonna tip this guy over. And I'm gonna line him up. I finger pressed where my center line is. Now I have a tiny bit of this block on the seam. So I'm gonna get a extra pressure there on the seam. If you notice, I'm taking and doing these little rocking motion with my hand. You can also do it with your fist like this. And we're just gently covering, not really gently, you actually are putting a little oomph in there. Then we're gonna pull it off and voila. Now, back over here, let's roll it up one more time. Actually, we're gonna do it four times total. See how I just dabbed into there and I'm making it nice and even. And I'm gonna start adding my thin layers of ink in all sorts of directions so that we cover the surface super well without going into all that lovely carved out spots. So now I'm gonna be lining up my corners and then you, then you just let go and you hope you did a good job. Okay, are we ready to see what it's gonna look like? Ta-da, there it is. Now we have two more to do, let's see. My well is starting to get a little dry. I might have to pull a little bit more ink in there. See a tap and then I even it out even on my roller and it's even on the plexiglass. So then it evenly goes on my block. 
Anyone who's taken the class from me knows that this to me is one of the most important aspects of printing because if you do this part right, you're more likely to have a successful print. So I'm kind of strict about the your well and making sure it's not too wet and sloppy. It's important to be tidy when you do this because even that little bit, I've got some ink on my fingers and I try and keep it off my bag. All right, one more to do. Here we go, last time. Nice, even. My roller is parallel to my block. Need a little bit more ink. And here we go. Last, last one. Okay, this is always the trickiest one because it's got to fit in there perfect. We're as perfect as a handmade block can be. There we go. And the final reveal. Are we ready? Ta-da! There it is. So now, after three days, this will set and it'll be ready to be used. Thank you. Come back again.